Hi guys, what's up, Jason here, and welcome to my first FIFA 18 skill squad builder on my channel. Now, in today's video, guys, I'm going to be showing you an 800k Brazilian skill squad. So, starting off in the goalkeeper position, I decided to go with Neto. Now, every single FIFA, this guy seems to be an absolute beast and one of the best at cheap goalkeepers that you can pick up. Looking at his stats now, he's got 84 diving, 83 reflexes, 80 handling, 74 positioning, 53 speed, 74 kicking, and he's six foot tall. What? Um, sorry, six foot four. What's very good for a goalkeeper. Now moving over to the first centre back, we have Miranda. Now every single year, this guy seems to be an absolute beast. Um, on FIFA 17, I actually used this SBC card for over 600 matches, and I think it was probably my most used card on the whole of FIFA 17. And just like on FIFA 17, this guy is absolutely incredible. Once again, you know, insane defending, good physical, and a really good pace for a centre back. And if you're wondering why he has the Hunter Chem style on him, it's because I accidentally applied it to him um, when I meant to imply. Uh, um, sorry, apply a contract instead. So moving to the central centre back, we have Naldo, and just like Miranda, this guy's an absolute tank. He has 69 pace and 69 shooting, what's really good for a defender, especially 69 shooting. And you will see um, from the clips later, we just score a few nice long shots. Now, as well as that, he has 84 defending and only 73 physical. What looking at it doesn't sound that too um, doesn't sound too good, but if you're looking at his in-game stats, the only thing that really lets him down when it comes to his physical stats is his jumping and his stamina slightly, but his strength and defending is really good and all around this card is just absolutely incredible and I actually found him to be the best centre back out of the three defenders in this team. And then moving over to the next centre back, I decided to go with a cheap altern alternative to Thiago Silva and that is Marquinhos, he's six foot tall what? Probably is a bit too short for a centre back, but in this formation, it doesn't really make too much of a difference because he's working, you know, more as a left back. Um, he has 71 pace, 84 defending, and it's 76 physical. So again, some really nice stats, especially that defending and pace um, is really, really nice. So moving over to the first midfielder, we have Ilcianu in the right mid position. Now I'm going to be honest with you guys, this guy was honestly terrible, especially because of his stamina. I think it's only 40. Yeah, he has 40 stamina. So basically, around the 40th to 50th minute. I usually have to sub this guy off for um, SBC Charisma, and that SBC Charisma review will be coming very soon. So yeah, Elsinio is basically unusable, and even when he has the ball, you know, with full fitness, he just doesn't seem to really do much for the team. So moving to the first centre mid, we have Pereira. Now, this was one of the first 5-star skills I actually brought on at FIFA 18. Now, when I tried him out at first, I wasn't very impressed, but in this team, he seemed to do a really, really good job. Um, he's really good at scaling, and he's probably the best Brazil card on FIFA 18, in my opinion. So moving over to the left centre mid, we have the legend skiller himself, Alton. Now this guy on previous FIFAs used to be like really good um, due to him being you know so small ag and agile, but um, for some reason on this game it doesn't really seem to be too good. And I preferred per Pereira um, over him. He scored a really nice goal as you'll see later on in the video, but apart from that he didn't really do too much. And especially you know playing him in the centre mid position, and he's only I think he's like five foot six or five foot three. He's like he's so small. He's not going to win any headers, and he doesn't really have you know the strength to outstrength anyone. So that's the one thing you really need to look out for. So what I would would probably do I'd put the instruction on Elton to stay forward um, so you know he doesn't drop back because he's not really going to help and um, you know doing any defensive work so moving over to the left mid position I decided to go with Douglas Costa because of the five star skill moves he has 92 pace 77 shooting and it's 77 passing along with 84 dribbling now this guy I was actually very impressed with if you can't afford Neymar um, this is the guy I would recommend to go for and then maybe go with someone like Jalzinho in the left mid position now he's very good very good at performing running combos I really such as you know running wacka wacka running double touch exit and you know overall just a very very good card so moving over to the right forward position i decided to go with marlos now i wouldn't really say he's bad but i wouldn't really say he's good you know it's just one of those players who are there they don't you don't really notice them too much um but yeah he was just an okay um, player looking at his stats he has some absolutely crazy stats such as 83 pace and 87 dribbling but for some reason in game he just didn't really seem to do too much for me and then moving over to the best player in the team, it is Neymar. This guy is honestly incredible, just like every FIFA for the past few years. You know, the five-star skill moves, the five-star weak foot. Um, I think he only managed to score me seven goals in 25 games, which doesn't seem the best, but I was trying to score, you know, skill goals for the majority of the matches. He has, you know, he has 84 shooting and just some incredible, incredible in-game stats there. Look at all those dark green stats he does have, especially on the pace and a dribbling category. So yeah, overall, this card is absolutely insane. And then moving over to another insane player, we have have Gabriel Jesus. Now this guy I was very impressed with. I was very disappointed though um, that EA did decide to remove his 5 star skill moves from FIFA 17 but he's still very good on FIFA 18. His finishing is incredible and I actually played with the team with him and Aguero in 
on weekend league and he actually played better than Aguero in my opinion so this guy's an absolute beast um, and his finishing is incredible his pace is incredible and even though it says he's only got 67 physical it feels much stronger in game so guys this has been the team now let's get into the game highlights so guys now getting into the first highlights so the first goal we do go and score is a really nice skill goal we get the ball with Neymar there do a nice step over to double touch spin do a ball roll flick there to a nice fake drag back run into the middle of the pitch do some really nice scissors to a double touch spin past the defender to an ball to hocus pocus and we're doing loads of skill moves here and then we go and do a nice running Waka Waka and then finish it off with a top corner finish with Neymar and that's you know just how good this guy is he's honestly incredible and probably the best skiller um, if not one of the best skillers I've used and I actually prefer Neymar over Ronaldo I used Ronaldo on loan for three matches um, when I pre-ordered the um, icon edition and this card was even better so we get the ball here with Pereira the Brazilian five star skiller who was talking about earlier in the video do some really nice skill moves do a step over there to running Waka Waka to Roulette we're going to take the shot there on his weaker right foot and the goalie manages to save it comfortably but that would have been you know a really really nice goal and then again in this chance there we do some really nice skill moves with Neymar and then go for the low driven finish across goal on that five star weak foot into the bottom corner and the goalie had no chance at saving that it was an absolutely incredible finish so the next chance we get it here with Gabriel Jesus do a really nice Giovenco spin two roll, ball roll to Ronaldo chop and then score a really nice long shot past the goalkeeper. It was it looked like um, an in-air low driven shot, but it was actually just, you know, a powerful shot across goal. And then the next goal here, we get it with Alton. And this is actually a really weird goal, to be honest. He sort of flicks the ball up over the slide tackle, and it looks really nice in-game. That's why I decided to, you know, include this goal in the video. But I didn't actually do that deliberately. He just did it, you know, by himself. And then the next goal here again, we get the ball with Jesus, do the Juvenco spin, pass one, to a ball roll, to another ball roll to Ronaldo chop run through on goal, do the double touch spin, we do lose the ball but then we get it straight back, run through on goal, do the Giovenco spin again, to the spin and then look at that for a perfect finish into the bottom corner and you know Gabriel Jesus' finishing is just honestly incredible. So there we go again, a really nice replay into the bottom corner and then the next goal here we get it with Alton, the Brazilian legend 5 star skiller. We do a really nice ball roll, two hocus pocus, two a ball roll flick and then look at that for a finish on his left foot, smashes it top corner and sadly I couldn't actually get the replay of that goal though. Um, because I think I accidentally skipped it and then the next chance here again doing some really nice skill moves play a nice skill pass to Neymar who does a running waka waka to an elastico to a ball roll and then finishes it off with the, fin the finesse shot so guys this has been the squad builder if you have enjoyed it don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching and see you next time